Uh, Scooter Nuka Power Plant, really multifaceted, and you can kind of break it down in layers of the onion, if you will. The outermost layers, what people are most uh, commonly interfaced with is our vehicle checkpoint. That's the beginning. Uh, that's our job to delay, deter, or prevent the potential of an adversary even getting onto the property or anybody that would wish to do malice or harm. Later on, the layers of search and processing get more um, intense and more stringent with now we're gonna search it down all the way to every single item a person may have on them to ensure there's no contraband present before you enter the protected area. Security officers here are really engaged in uh, DC Cook. They're engaged in what it means to produce power safely and reliably and they wanna be part of that. They wanna uh, help this company and also help the community by protecting these assets. 9-11, the events around 9-11 kind of changed the shape of security and the profile security of the country. It did the same in the nuclear environment. And we really um, upped our access authorization program after the events of 9-11 to ensure that there was a very rigorous process. Cook Nuclear Security Officers are really a diverse group. They come from many different walks of life, many different backgrounds. We have security officers that obviously have worked security before, have been police officers, many that have served in this nation's military. And the other aspects we look at are also on the cyber aspect, which is relatively new for the nuclear industry as a whole but it's something we're working on quickly along with the regulator and the Nuclear Energy Institute to ensure that DC Cook's cyber assets are protected from potential threats. Security as a whole, really multifaceted approach and we're doing things on many levels to ensure that our assets remain secure and safe and reliable for the foreseeable future.